Oil and gas originate from organic matter in sedimentary rocks. This organic debris accumulates at the sea bottom during the process of sedimentation. Bacteria and pressure work on this organic matter and break them down into substances rich in hydrogen and carbon. However, the oil which is generated in these source rocks is highly dispersed and spread over large areas and is thus not commercially exploitable. To be commercially extractable, these small oil droplets must get concentrated into large deposits. Oil gets concentrated into commercial quantities by the process of migration. Migration of oil takes place in two distinct phases known as primary migration and secondary migration. As more and more sediments get deposited, the underlying sediments get compacted and the oil from the source rock is expelled. This oil then starts moving vertically upwards. This process is known as primary migration. The expelled oil keeps moving upward towards the surface till it comes across an impervious rock known as the cap rock. This cap rock stops the further upward migration of oil. As a consequence, the oil starts moving laterally within the horizon and gets concentrated in the pores space of the reservoir rock where it accumulates to form oil pools. This process is known as secondary migration. During the process of accumulation of oil within the reservoir, gravity separation of water, oil, and gas takes place within the reservoir. Water being the heaviest occupies the lowest portion, oil the middle, and gas being the lightest occupies the upper parts of the pay zone.